Hello, integrals and the Frenchers. It's Dal. Welcome back to my kitchen. On today's menu, we're going to be reviewing the Double Blaze expansion set. That's part of an expansion coming to us in May. And man, it's got a lot of good cards in it. We'll talk about what they do, how, and how good is it, and what combos with that. So let's get started going straight down the list. Here we go. We're going to start off with Gloom. Actually, Vile Bloom. Actually, I missed out Gloom. Gloom, Irresistible Set. You may flip a coin. If heads, your opponent reveals their hand, you find a basic Pokemon, and you drop it on their bench. This is going to come with other future cards we're going to see. Crabomable. So, it forces your opponent to fill their bench. Okay, so that's that's good. This is a stage one, not a stage two like the one we currently have a certain Dust Noir. You're going to be able to make some cheese deck with this. Part of a good combo. This is a good card. Moving on, Vile Plume. This is a bad card. Why? Here's what it does. You may flip a coin. If heads, gain it by a coin flip. What is your reward? Your reward is either poison, burn, sleep, or confusion half the time. I mean, you get attacks and you get other ways to do this, but this is half the time. It's a stage two, so setting it up is going to be hard and your reward is going to be half the time. This is why the unreliability and the cost to get it out is not worth it, and I do not like this vile plume. Alright, moving on! Next up, Venomoth. Venomoth is a cheese kind of deck, a troll kind of deck. If you're the enemy, it has a special condition. Probably something keeping it from killing you, confusion or something like that. You get to do 9 damage to the bench, which will snipe off lots of weak cards. It's gonna eventually two shot a GX Pokemon, and uh, with the with the certain stadium. Yep. So you're gonna try to troll with this, but it's a troll deck. Are you gonna be a uh, so good, you know, good deck overall? Probably not. Is it gonna make for some crazy matches. Yes, it is. So I'll be waiting for you, Venomoth. You got a GX as well. Moving on. Uh, well, coming out next time. Rashirum and Charizard GX. This is the deal. This is the poster card, and what this card is all about is stats. Look at this HP. Look at this damage right here. <laughs> Look at this damage. This is 200 or 300 damage, pretty much. If you got three extra energies on that. There's nothing special except straight raw power on this. You will one-shot everything in this deck, and the penalty is that you can't do Flare Strike next turn. But you can do Double Blazed Outrage, so... It's gonna pump out lots of numbers. This is an easy card to pull off. Kiawe. Uh, th there's gonna be new cards in this expansion to let you do this real easily, so you will get some some sort of results with this. All right, moving on. Arcanines. Arcanines deals in his first attack right here. Grand Flame. Two shot KO. One shots. You know other weaker cards with a little bit of help. You get two fire energies from your discard, which is very good, onto a bench Pokemon. Yeah! So it's a Twit KO, good HP. You can just keep up charging up other Arcanines or other stronger Pokemons with this attack. Stage one, I like it. And if you really need a big KO, go for the 90 dam 190 damage attack. I mean, the 50, yeah, that's okay. You still got 90 HP left. You're only with one prize card. You're charging, you're pretty much self-charging yourself here, for the most one, unless you do the heat tackle. We can make this work for a video. <laughs> That's all that. I was like, oh man, this is better than average numbers than what you're going to see, but this is doable. I like you, Arcanine. The room, sorry, Darmatan, Darmatan, you stink. I don't know why. I mean, the next card we're going to talk about just completely blows you out the water. Here's what it does. It's a stage one, good enough HP, good enough damage, but you must discard all your energies. Ah. <sighs> This first attack's okay, but you have a Lola Marowak, which does it for free. So, uh, uh yeah, and Starmie does a better version with 40 damage. Except with other uh, thing. Basically, this card, I wouldn't even touch it. I would touch the last card. Next card, next card. That doesn't sound right, man. Volcanion. 120 HP, very doable. One energy is attack, and it helps you start the game hard. Search your deck for a fire energy, put into one of your Pokemon. But if you go second, yeah, that's me! Sit three fire energies, throw it into, say, that Reshirman Charizard. 
Three energy bonus, turn one. Oh yeah! Let's take a look at your attack. Two energies! That's cheap! And what do you do? 50 damage, plus 60 more if there are four energies across all your Pokemons. Four fire energies, that's not too hard to do. We have a lot of good fire energy acceleration bonus. I think that makes sense. So two energies were two shot KOs? Yeah, Darmatan! Why do I need you if this thing does the same thing for a much more efficient cost? I'm not losing my energies. I just gotta maintain them. Alright, so that's why <laughs> you just got you this guy just made the last card look bad. Moving on, we're gonna look at the new Incineroar right here. And now Incineroar has a very good effect. Ability. You do 30 more damage to the enemy. It works for everything, but it only stacks one time. And this is kinda like a Omni Choice Man, but for everything. Stacks with Choice Man. And this thing existing on your side of the field will help a lot, a lot of other decks get one-shot kills. If they're close to it, on the edge, this will allow them to do it. Yeah, so in Incineroar, I can, might see you helping out my other decks, kind of like the Sidewise. And you might go for that Incineroar GX deck, and you could get the, yeah, the Dark One. It works with that. And you can get one-shots with the Dark One too, so... I like you, man. You, we will see you soon. Maybe a lot of times, because if you're a, because you work for a lot of cards. All right, let's take a look at here. A new master, cooking master. So what you do is you discard a fire energy, and you get to draw three cards. Ah, oh, that's kind of like a reporter, isn't it? TV reporter. Only with fire energies and that stadium, is it worth the bench space? Maybe. Maybe. There's a lot of draws, so maybe. I think I can squeeze it in. Plus, these evolve into other Salazzles, too. Oh, yeah! It evolves. There's a Salazzle GX. That's real good. You're a nice, good way to, you know, diversify the Salazzle line. I like you. I like you a lot. Uh, Blacephala, this thing looks real bad. It's too expensive. Uh, it costs three energies to attack, and you must discard energies from your hand. Your reward is 50 damage. That's a lot of energies to get that one shot. Can you keep on doing that for... Attack after attack? No, you cannot. You cannot, so I'm not looking forward to pull this off. I don't think I might even try that. Sorry, Blood Cephalon. All right, what next? Polyrath, we can do this. It steals its first set last attack right here. Whirlpool Rush. If you have Poliwag and Poliwhirl, it does 180 damage. For this energy cost, that's like a very expensive Aerodactyl. We did the Aerodactyl deck. That thing was awesome. But if this thing, you know, is another Aerodactyl, fine. Great! Now, this does kill a bit of your bench space. And that's, you know, you want to use your bench space to help set this up. It looks like a bad Aerodactyl deck. You could make a work for a video. But after that, I wouldn't rely on that. The numbers are great, though. But that's about that. Now, if you were to go to, um, expand it, there is a certain Politoed that does make this card will go crazy, I believe. I believe. We'll go back to that. If it's what I'm thinking is, we're gonna go to expand and pop this out of there. Alright, moving on. Dugong! You're like a bad... Who? Tapu Fini. You're a bench damage deck that's really expensive to pull off. It does 60 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemons. 120, so you... I mean, you still gotta get six prize cards that way. You get the baby Pokemon, so perhaps... Perhaps there's a small chance we can troll with this. But it's still a troll deck. But if you can make it work for a video. Yeah! Alright, so moving on. Next up, Krabby. You are an expensive Pokemon that has the right numbers for big energy costs. Yeah, I'm, I might I might, may try to make you work. You look like water and a lot of energy acceleration bonus. That's a straight to it KO. You could do a cheese paralysis deck with this with Victini. 75% chance. You can make it work, but after 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 you make that deck, you're like, ah, forget about it. You're not that special. Moving on, Stunfisk. Now, Stunfisk is a big combo with the card coming later down at the bottom. Just keep this in mind, okay? Keep in mind it's last attack right now. It does 30 damage for every Pokemon that has at least one damage counter. So you fill up your entire bench with a uh, wounded Pokemon. Yeah, that does 160 damage. And if it's wound itself, like we had a rainbow energy or you know, something, that's a, uh, that's a, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's 180. 
So for one double color synergy, you could get a lot of value, similar to Lost March, but all basic. We can make you work, man, and you might be fun to do. Well, it's very enjoyable for that. Next up, we have Alolan Muck and, well, regular Muck as a Tag Team GX. Look at that HP. Let's start looking at the attacks. Bad Poison. Easy energy cost to do. Eight damage counters between turns. You don't retreat, you're gonna die. At the wrong time too, so you don't retreat, you're dead. That is a lot of poison damage, and there's gonna be a stadium that helps this too. We'll talk about it. There's pretty much, there's, the upgrades doesn't end there, guys. Moving on, Poison Lick. 120 damage to a KO. Heal 100 damage. Look at that HP. I smell some Venusaur value right here, man. So you're... If you might not be able to kill this, and uh, let's take a look. This is a psychic Pokemon, too. Ooh. Malamar's in the theme shop. This is gonna be easy to pull off. Uh, and what is your GX attack? Your opponent's poisoned. They're paralyzed. And if you have four energies, which you should have four energies, uh, 50 damage between turns. 15! That's gonna be the best poison effect in the entire game. So, and the thing is, if they don't retreat, they die at the end of their turn, which means you can attack the next Pokemon for free. So, you got some nice stats right here, Buck. I'm looking real forward to you. Moving on, Ghastly. This is good. If it dies, you get to search your deck for two Haunters, put it into your bench. You get two free Haunters, so you can use any past Gengars, present, future, depending what, you know, what's available, and put it out. But the newest Gengar... Actually, there's a current Gengar that's really good. That's for later. Well, that's, yeah, that's for a lot later. The new Gengar, though, when you evolve it, you get to put six damage counters, split it any way you like, across your opponent's GXs. Which means three Gengars you're... Or four Gengars, actually, three Gengars you're looking for a kill there. So, ooh... If you're playing against the GX decks, you could definitely have some fun with this. The damage is... Oh, it's not there. If you're not playing against the GX deck, that's gonna be bad. So... We're gonna be really hunting down GXs when we do this. Again, it's gonna be real matchup specific. But against GXs, it's gonna rock. Moving on, let's take a look at Weezing right here. Alright, Weezing, the better Tapu Koko bench damage deck. Let's take a look. Same HP, free ability. Anytime between turns, if you're in the front, you get to put one damage counters between turns, including your opponent's turn. Between, so both yours and your opponent's, one damage counters on their basics. Ah, and it's free! Free damage? I can't complain. So what do you get for a double colorless energy? 40 damage, 20 damage to all of your opponent's bench Pokemon that have a damage counter. Now, if you are going on your first turn, this affects everything. So get that, yeah, get win that coin flip and the bench damage is gonna be crazy. Are you gonna bench wipe them with this card? We're gonna make that work pretty easy. Okay, moving on, Mewtwo, bad verse seeker, but it does, oh, no, let's talk about that first. Here we go, why is it a bad verse seeker? When you play it from your hand, you get a supporter from your discard. That's verse seeker's effect, but it goes on top of your deck, not your hand where you can play it right away. And it's eating up a bench space too. But I can get you that Guzma next turn or something, so... It looks useful, but that penalty there is pretty big. Could you have Pokemon that can draw next turn? Yes, Acrobike. And that would uh, be the pretty decent. I'm just like, just give, just take this penalty away! And it'd be, it'd be awesome. But because of this penalty, we might not even see it at all. But it does have quite a noble effect of getting that supporter back. Moving on, we got Mew, which is... Something that's been here in the past meta. It blocks bench damage from your opponent's bench Pokemons. Dealing with a wheezing up there? Well, you're gonna have something for that. Tapu Cocos. Yeah, so we may start seeing much less of that, but you know, it's pretty easy to KO. You might be able to shut down with a low bug. But it's nice to have one of these back in the meta. Moving on, uh, Miss Magius. Mysterious message. Ah, the penalty on this is big. You can knock it out. Your opponent gets a prize card, but you can draw until you have seven cards in your hand. 
And there is a combo that allows you to do this very often. So you can draw your entire deck, but man, the price is huge! Oh, but you might be able to take advantage of it. Say, counter energies, counter gains, a strainer, which has been rotated. So, it's quite a dangerous, but it can definitely lead to some big major combos. Definitely! Look through the expand and see if I can do something crazy with this. But for most part, I think the price is just going to be too much for most decks. Some decks can do it though. Okay, so we'll just... I'll have to figure it out later. Alright, moving on. Meow Stick. This is important because it can attack for free. I'll tell you why later. It attacks for free. Okay, so what does it do? 70 damage, and it changes the enemy weakness to Psychic. Which means if they don't retreat, the next attack is to do 140. And, you know, if you already got 70 damage on you, that that's going to be a lot. So it's a free 2 hit KO Pokemon. That's the stage one. We're going to make this work. Let's move on to that. You're going to see why in a bit. All right, Marshadow and Machamp GX. 270 HP. Love it. Revenge, if one of your Pokemons got knocked out last turn, do 120. 2 hit KO for that. Yeah, it's a good tempo attack. Here we go. 100 impact, 3 energies, Buzzwall with no penalty. Ah, your Buzzwall, we know we can make that work. Alright, so, good attack. You can push that into a one-shot with Choice Band with Deancey, just like a Buzzwall. And let's look at your GX attack here. Practically a one-shot kill. If you have 4 energies total, you cannot die next turn. Yeah, and after that, you do the 100 impact, so... You look like you're gonna be getting some value, some sort. Look at that HP is good, the damage is good. Every tag team that we've seen has seemed pretty good here, so... Yeah, and being able to live another turn makes that three prize card value worth it. You'll be able to keep up and trading with that there. That's gonna be really, 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 really good. So, excellent, 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 I like it. The trio! Oh, I like you, man. 90 HP, one energy, 90 damage. The condition is you just have to have a stadium. You didn't, this is easy to do. Unless there's a field blower, just put four stadiums in your deck. 90 damage, ooh. You can boost that easily with help with, uh, let's see, Incineroar with the Ansi. You're gonna get some nice value with this. This is gonna be easy to pull off. I like you, Ductrio. I already know how to make you with the reading. Uh, and there's a new stadium that helps you out. Easy deck. Move it on, move it on. Marowak. Recycle this card. Recycle that card. That's bad. Next on, Rhydon. A new mill combo is being built here. Double colorless energy. You get to mill one card. But if you played a supporter, you get to mill five cards. Now, what you need to know is what Giovanni's Exile does. So I'm going to tell you verbally, okay? We'll look at it later. You can discard two Pokemons off your bench that have no damage counters, not wounded. If, and uh, that's what it does. It's like, why would I play that? Because you need that for the ride on to work. What you can also do is do it with, uh, Doug, uh, let's see, Diglett. Here we go, we skip Diglett. If you got discarded through Giovanni's Exile, you can discard another card. Giovanni's Exile discards two cards. So you can get two Diglets discarded, so the whole combo can get you seven cards discarded in one move. Now, making this whole deck keep going is going to be the tough part that we have to figure out. That's going to be a challenge when it comes through. But I think with the seven card discard, you can definitely mill somebody out with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so moving on, right, Perrier. You're a little too heavy, man. 170 HP, 90 damage, and your opponent's basic tag team Pokemon can't attack. Now, this thing is putting a debuff on your opponent, so if they switch, they can get around that. Ah, and look at this here. Ooh, that's like the Buzzwall, but champ, but more expensive. This is a stage two, and it hurts your own bench Pokemon. You can kind of make it work, but I don't really want to. That's that's kind of expensive, dude. It's like a trap. That's like me trying to make Alolan Golem work. And if you've seen that, depending when this video comes out, that's that's that, that was a pain. All right, Tyro. Pokemon's releasing new baby Pokemon's with free retreats, no attacks, and all of them suck except one. This is the one that you recycle right right away. So we'll talk about why. All right, 
let me tell you why now. You flip a coin, it might not even work. You do three damage, and your turn ends. No matter what, your turn's gonna end. So, you would never use this card, and most of the babies, except the ones that I'm gonna point out later, Cliff Barry, or Cliff, Clef, Cleffa, 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 you're gonna use Cleffa, and only Cleffa, none of these. So, we're gonna skip this right here. Lando, you don't do enough damage. You want to be an early Pokemon, Poke Pokemon, but I would rather do Jirachi or something here, so... I don't see a use for you, man. We're gonna pass on to... Crabomable. <sighs> Remember that Gloom back there? Remember that Gloom? So here's how the combo works. If you have fewer, po fewer Pokemon than your opponents, it does 60 damage for every... The difference. For every Pokemon fewer that you have. So the difference. You have... Count the difference, do subtraction, and the scaling is 60 bonus damage. So you can get one shots if they fill up their bench and they don't know what's going on. This is a double cause energy, and it has potential. It's like Lucario, it's like what Lucario does now. You can do it, but it's not gonna be reliable enough and that bench space penalty is gonna make you stop after a while, so... Hey man, you pull Kromamo, you can make a Kromamo back and have some fun with that. Next up, we got Honchcrow GX. This is good. This is good. Ruler of the Night. Your opponent cannot play Poke Tools, Special Energies, Stadiums, and when this thing's in the active. That's permanent. If this thing's fighting, no double colors energy is gonna hurt. Not taking away the a certain big stadium. What's it called? Black Market? Ooh! Or maybe say... There's a lot of dangerous stadiums out there. Blocking your opponent from doing that is gonna be crazy, man. All right, so it's raid disrupting. Can it do good damage? 90. This 30 damage for two of your opponent's bench Pokemon's GXs. So pretty much, let's see, 150 total possible. That is good. That is good. Okay, so it's reasonable for what it's doing. Reasonable enough for blocking all that stuff from your opponent. So let's take a look at GX now. You look at their hand, you brick them. Hey, draw supporters! Bye-bye. Ultra Ball! Bye-bye. If you do that at a bad time, you can just brick them, and they can't play all this stuff. Man, you're good. You're gonna be really, really good. Honchkrow, I'm waiting for you, man. Spiritomb, remember that Stunfisk? That yellow, ugly-looking brown Pokemon? Oh, I'm sorry, that's what it is. And here's what it does. You may put one damage counter on the Pokemon. You could hurt it, and that meets Stunfish conditions. Yeah, fill up your bench with this. Anguish Scream. For every damage counter on this Pokemon, you do 30 more damage. So, 50 HP works up that. Pretty much you do the same damage as Stunfish. You just put a Rainbow Energy or a Dark Energy, whatever, and you get that really, really high scaling for cheap energy costs you get. So yeah, this... Basic like Stun Fist, works with Stun Fist, Double Colors and Rainbows, go for that. That's gonna be pretty easy up to now. Hey, I think you can use uh, Professor Elm Nest Balls. Definitely Nest Balls with Professor Elm. Yeah, setup is gonna be real nice. Uh, moving on. Oh. You need a bench race for Banana Master. That's gonna make things a little rough. Moving on, Sandial. The Sandile card is actually good. It's kinda expensive, but you can pay anything up for this. And when an opponent knocks it out, or knocks out any Pokemon, you follow up with 150. 150. You give this thing a choice, man, and it knocks out GX Pokemon. A freaking sa Sandile. Can you make some troll decks with this? I think so. I'm waiting for you, Sandile. Moving on. Crocodile. This thing is bad. You should recycle it. We have uh, this attack here is what Wallafet has, and I'm not looking forward to that. You're not that special. You're just like, I got some okay cards. Your baby evolution's good, but this one, uh, I don't like it. Recycle Wigglytuff. Cleffa. This is the only good baby Pokemon you, uh, you're you gonna get. Yeah, so what does it do? Free retreat. Definitely nice in between turns when your, your Pokemon gets knocked out. And when you have a dead dead draw, dead, dead turn. Flip a coin, 
If heads, shuffle your deck, draw six cards. It's a 50-50 Cynthia. Can you use this uh, at the start of the game? Yes. Can you use it when you're bricked? When you have a dead turn? Yes! That's why this is the a good, truly, 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 truly good baby card. And it's the only one. Alright. So, I think this is going to be good. Moving on! Oh, man. Every Whimsicott has been great. Here we go. Whimsicott GX, 190 HP. This, check out this ability right here. Flip a coin. If heads. You don't get hurt at all. You know the thing about coin flips? They can really be messed up sometimes. You can. This is gonna be worrisome because your opponent might want to blow a big GX. Boom! It fails. That's why I'm gonna hate you. I mean, that, you're like that's the devil right there, man. That is the devil. That ability is already top tier. Here we go. Energy blow. If you get the more energy you give it, it does 30 for every one. Double colors is fine. You can make this do a one shot. You can make this into a two shot if you don't have enough energies. It's pretty flexible as long as one of them is a rainbow. Yeah, pull up with Gardevoir. This is pretty troll. GX is you get this a five computer search. Look at five cards. Put them into your hand. I right, Gardevoir GX. Anything you want, anything you need to support this is there. Gonna be really good gonna be really really good I'm ready for you man I am ready you you are top tier <laughs> my it's a coin flip I can't say that but you could definitely make some, some mad a lot of people mad here all right here we go this is important any Pokemon that has the cat they attack can do it for free so let me revise let me rephrase that sentence every Pokemon that has the cat they attack can use any other attack for free. I don't know how Celebi is going to work with this because there is a Cat Day Incineroar. So, would Celebi allowed to do this? I really need a rule checker. And if you are reading the comments, uh, if you know, please post that in the comments. I'm going to look that look that up. All right. So that helps make that um, Meow Stick attacks for free, and it may work in Incineroar if what I think. Yeah, I don't think a Cinderor can attack for free, but if it did, that'd be crazy. Alright, so you need this as part of a combo, and that combo is good. I like you. Persian GX. Top tier. Top, top tier. Catwalk. When one of your GX dies, you get to play an old supporter called Teammates. Search your deck for any two cards. Rare candies, energies, Guzma, whatever you need to make a comeback. You are gonna get that. That is freaking huge. That Rayquaza, anything. Wow. Wow. Teammates was good, and that was a supporter. Now, you're getting this for free when this thing is up. So, this is gonna be. This is a 5 out of 5 here, man. And Livesey, is, is the rest of the stuff 5 out of 5? HP is okay. Revenge, 20 damage for every discard in your. Uh, every Pokemon in your discard. All right, that's Zorox attack. So scales up to 190. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depending on what deck you use it with, you could get value of it. Otherwise, it may be just for that god tier ability that you have. All right, so this. I mean, you just need this part. I don't even care about any of this here. It's still good. Your GX is so so 150 with a free retreat. Yeah. All right, moving on. Dodrio. You just need double colors. It's a two-shot and pretty much both attacks here. One is probably a 100 uh, two-shot. Very luckily, it's a one-shot kill. You can make it work for a deck video. And because how cheap it is and the numbers are just at the right spot, you can make it work for a video. That's about that. All right, moving on. Porygon Z. Oh, yeah. Things got crazy. You may use this ability as many of your times as you want. Attach a special energy from your hand to your Pokemon. This means infinite double colors energies, infinite rainbows, infinite unit energies, infinite. When you get to play energies with no limits, you're removing one of the you know limits off major limits off Pokemon. So now there's just a lot of good special energies, even a new one coming up that's real good. You could make for some crazy plays. 
I'm looking forward to working with you, my friend. I'm looking forward to working forward with you. Uh, Snorlax! A very specific card for a specific need. Are you playing against a tag team? Eventually, you're gonna do it, right? If you do, three energies, 180 damage. Not enough to KO them, because that'd be just too cheap. But with a little bit of help, maybe Incineroar, maybe Decidueye, maybe wearing them down through a stadium. You can get a one-shot kill for pretty good. Those tag teams will not like to see Snorlax. So, I cannot justify putting it in your deck for just ladder. You're not going to run into all the time. But if, you know, that becomes tag teams become a big part of the meta, then definitely this could help out. Colorless, easy energy cause, good value against those tag teams. I like it. I like it. All right, moving on. Remember, only Clef is good. This is going to be in theme deck somewhere. It's bad. Moving on, reprint this card. You look at the next three cards, and you can reorder them what you like. It could be anybody's deck. I do not think this is worth the bench space. Oh, I'm sorry, deck space. The effect doesn't seem as strong enough. I mean, you're not digging far enough, and it's just one card. Yeah, so... Ah, well, you're dead on arrival. Moving on, Ultra Balls. It feels like... Yeah, you'd be, be careful, because... They're getting... You could pull them out of a booster pack, but it might fall out of rotation. Uh, Fiery Crystal. Hmm, this is pretty good. Just get three fire energies from your discard into your hand. That's like a better energy retrieval, but only for fire decks. And man, this will combo into quite a lot of stuff. Because you're going to have a lot of fire energies down there. Good, good. We'll need it for certain decks. Dust Stone, holy cow. If a Pokemon evolves to Miss Magius, part of that big crazy draw combo, Honchkrow, including the GX version, oh my gosh, Chandelure, which there are good ones, and Azure Slash, there are good ones of those. You get to search a card and evolve it immediately from your deck. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you bet I'm gonna be putting that into those decks that use this. Thank you, Dustones. Fast Evolution searches my deck where they are. Cheats the turd. We need you. We need you. Giovanni's Exile. Remember Rhydon? Remember Diglett? This is it. Choose for two bench Pokemons, discard them, and all cards off them. Why would you even play this? It just works for that deck. Yeah, or you can get rid of Lele, Coconut Master off your deck nicely. Stuff like that. Yeah, so you know what sports for that mill deck. Of course, it's Giovanni here. Reprint. Welder. Attach two fire energies from your hands straight onto your Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Play that crystal. Yep. Attach. Use two for the effect. Play the other one from your hand. That's three instant fire energies. And it counts as a draw supporter. Draw three. This will make a lot of fire decks work. Rashim back there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. This is good. Very, very, very top tier. Top, top, top tier. Ho oh, oh, a lot of decks will need this. Red's challenge. Computer search in the form of supporter. Destroy two cards. I'm sorry. Right here. Destroy two cards. Put anything you want in your hand. Now, as a draw supporter, that's not drawing. That's not helping you out. But it is helping finding, say, rare candy stuff. Something like that. Yeah, it's a versatile card. Computer Search has been very strong in the past, but now with the support thing day here, it's tough. It's a tough call to see if you can put this in your deck or not. Maybe. Anything is pretty good. Anything. So we'll have to keep an eye on red. I'm on the fence with this one here. Okay, so moving on, Fighting Dojo. Oh yeah. If any Pokemon with a basic fire energy ha on it, I don't think the Pokemon even has to be a fighting Pokemon. It could be even a colorless that Pokemon with a basic fighting energy. Ah, that improves the versatility. You do 10 more damage. Okay, that can help out, but if you're losing, you get to do 40 more damage. Hey, Mudsdale, Mudbray, you want to come back for a video? I think this might work. 40 bonus damage is going to make a lot of crazy stuff work. And it works on GXs too. Not Ultra Beast, thank gosh. Buzz, Buzzwall, hmm. That would be too crazy there. Alright, Dust Island. Remember Muck? When a player switches to Poison Pokemon with a trainer, 
so they can retreat normally. Wish you could screw them over with an Absol. The active Pokemon is still poison. And if they get bonus effects, like, you know, the eight damage things from, uh, Muck, it'll still be there. So your Guzmas are not gonna save you. Very, very essential. For a lot of, uh, for, this will make a lot of poison deck works, including that Muck. So, this is good. We're gonna troll our time. We're gonna troll real nicely with this. Uh, Fiery Flint, reprint. Destroy two cards, get four fight energies, and this will help out with Blacksmith. Helps out with a lot of stuff. So, that's, that looks uglier than the uh, Golden Fiery Flint. Reprint, Kiawe, reprint, reprint, triple boost energy. Well, it's what it is. It's three colorless energies that is played instantly. But you do lose it at the end of the turn. But you are allowed to do a big giant attack very quickly. So, I need... It's definitely allowing you to burst some big major attacks out. Mm-hmm. And... We can make some good combos work with this. I see that. The penalty definitely needs to be there, because three energies in a single attachment is very, very scary. So, this will make some combos work real nice. All right, so, I think that is that. Everything here is on Poké Beach. I'm going to put this video, uh, the link to it in the description. Whew, one take. One take. All right, so this is it for now. New expansion looks really good. And this, keep in mind, this is also coming with other new cards that we revealed before. So our May expansion is going to be packed with a lot of nice stuff. A lot of nice stuff. So that is it for now. Thank you, and our girls and friends. Take it easy, stay safe. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.